Gramagat Ara. Um, first of all, I obviously welcome this motion being brought forward, and it's, I think it's really, really important that we um, have the, an overarching autism strategy, bringing all the different services and supports under the one umbrella, just to ensure that children and adults get the supports that they need. And I'm aware, Minister, that you're very much aware um, of this. Um, but I would question how many times, I suppose, we have to bring forward motions, bills and discussions um, before we see this kind of an overarching strategy that we all agree um, needs to happen. And I know that my colleague Kathleen Funchen brought forward the Autism Empowerment Strategy in 2019 and that that did have the cross-party support. But unfortunately, we, actually, we are here again today without having this pushed forward. And I do also think, and something that my colleague Kathleen Funchen had brought forward previously, is that we need a committee that ensures that such a strategy is actually delivered upon and that in a way I suppose it would hold people to account to ensure um, that they fulfil their responsibilities in this regard and look we've all heard of the distress of families um, who say that time and time again that their family members just don't and simply don't receive the support that they need and that they deserve and I suppose one thing, and I, I might even speak to you after, Minister, in relation to it, one um, thing that has been raised with me recently is in, from a number of constituents, or one particular constituent, is in relation to a new children disability network team for, um, that was, will, is supposed to be based in the Renmore area. And they had been told that that would be by July this year. Now, I had contacted um, the HSE in, in this regard. Um, and at the time, the HSE told me that at this time, it is not possible to provide an estimated wait time and that the Children's Disability Network team will be in contact with the family in due course. Now, this particular family hasn't heard from it um, since. And this is, of course, going on since July. Um, so they're very concerned. Now, I have followed up with the HSE since then, but there has been no further update. And this particular child is waiting on these services um, since they're 11 years old and was referred for services in 2016. Now, that's obviously nearly half um, this child's lifetime that they're waiting for support. And of course, you know, it's, it's important that we make plans um, to provide services, but what people really need is that follow through um, and that these services are made accessible for those who need them.